Good morning everyone. Today we are going to start chapter 17 that is introduction to graphs. So first of all I want to tell you that what do you mean by graph? A graph is a visual representation of collected data. Whatever data will be given to us whether in the form of statement or in the form of table okay whatever form it is given to us so we are representing that in the form of pictures diagrams etc that is a visual representation of any data that is known as a graph so there are different types of graphs that is bar graph histogram and pie chart in the bar graph and histogram keep one thing in the mind that there will be two axes x-axis and y-axis x-axis is a horizontal line and y-axis is a vertical line okay and this center point or starting point is known as origin all right so we are representing the data in the form of bars in the bar graph also and in the histogram also okay these are the vertical bars all right so a uh, difference between bar graph and histogram is in the bar graph there will be a gap in between the bars equal gap between the bars okay and in the histogram there will not be any gap okay this is only a difference between bar graph and histogram all right so next is pie chart what do you mean by pie chart pie chart is a circular representation of any data which is divided with the help of sections okay these a b c d e f are the sections and these are known as sectors all right so this is again a question will be given to you in the form of table or statement you have to represent that in the form of pie chart all right next is line graph and li linear graph in the line graph and linear graph again you have to draw x-axis and y-axis okay the center point is the origin so whenever a question is given to you you have to represent that in the form of graph okay in both the questions linear line uh, linear graph and line graph okay suppose you have to plot some points on a graph okay so i have plot i have plotted these points on the graph okay a b c d again here also a b c d okay so uh, in the line graph you can see that they are connected with the help of different line segments this is one line segment second third and in the linear graph they will be connected with the help of single line segment okay so this is a difference between line graph and the linear graph points will be given to you uh, in the zigzag form okay there will not be any straight line okay so there will be different line segments more than one line segments and here there will be only one line segment next difference is there is no particular pattern there will be no pattern in the line graph okay picture can be in the form of this 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 in this way okay uh, in the li uh, linear graph there will be a proper symmetry okay so there will be a pattern in the linear graph okay pattern means what is this pattern this is a straight line okay so pattern will be you can uh, you can check it out that there will be a pattern in the linear graph okay so this is a difference between line graph and linear graph some students are getting confused that these both are the same things but no okay there are some differences in between these two next and the last um, uh, most important topic is cartesian plane so in the cartesian plane it consists of a horizontal line and a vertical line that intersect at point o this is a cartesian plane okay there are two axes x axis and y axis okay this is horizontal line this is vertical line okay and the starting and the center point is known as origin that is o all right now next is on the left on the right hand side of x axis all the numbers are positive and here on the left hand side all will be negative 
similarly upper side this is positive y axis and at the down it is negative y axis okay so next point is the point of intersection where they are intersecting this is known as origin the horizontal line is x axis and vertical line is y axis next is there are total four quadrants these section this first second third, third and fourth these are known as quadrants okay we never used to write here one this is not one one started from here first second third and fourth okay this is a proper sequence now next is number of number of locate points on the plane are called coordinates whenever we used to locate some points on the graph or in the cartesian plane that is known as coordinate suppose they are saying that you have to plot this this coordinate 2 comma minus 3 on the cartesian plane okay so what are these these are the coordinates you have to plot this point on the cartesian plane okay now this first point is always lie on x axis and second point always lie on y axis so coordinates of x axis this coordinate of x axis this is known as abscissa and coordinates of y axis is always known as ordinates okay these are very two important terms of cartesian plane first is what are quadrants then what are coordinates then what is abscissa and ordinates coordinate of x axis are known as abscissa and coordinates of y axis are known as ordinates all right so next let's move with the exercise the exercise questions are quite easy plot the point question number one is plot the following points on graph sheet and verify if they lie on a straight line okay these are the points given to you a b c d okay of a part so these are the coordinates given to you so first of all you have to you have to do this exercise on a bar graph notebook okay so this is your x axis draw x axis and draw y axis after that check it out which is the maximum digit maximum digit is 10 so try to write here up to 10 and up to 10 here okay or you can check it out that the maximum uh, digit for x axis is 10 and maximum digit for y axis is that is 7 okay so you can uh, draw this y axis up to 7 or this x axis up to 10 okay after that plot these points a coordinate a point is 8 and 7 8 is here and 7 is here okay so please make a dotted line and wherever they will meet you have to make a circle and the and dot over there okay and mark it as a after marking you have to mention the coordinates also that is h comma 7 okay whatever is there next is b b is 9 comma 5 9 is for x axis and 5 is for y axis okay so they will meet here so this b point is 9,5 next C C point is 10,6 okay 10 is here and 6 is here so you have to write here 10,6 next is D 7,7 7, 7. 7 of x axis and 7 of y axis so this is the D point 7,7 7. okay so in this way you can draw your graph on the bar graph notebook it is very easy okay just keep this thing in the mind this this first digit is for x axis and second for the y axis okay and then check it out wherever they will meet and mark those points and mention that okay after that they have said that you have to verify whether it is on a straight line or not so you can see that there is zigzag line so you can write at the last they do not lie on a straight line okay that's it so similarly you have to draw the b part c part and d part this is the b part m n o p coordinates are given so you have to draw in this way okay when you will draw these points so again there will be a zigzag line so you can write at the last they do not lie on straight line okay 
so by mistake i have done a b c d okay you have to mention m n o p whatever the coordinates are given to you after that c point is c point is k l m n these are the points given to you k l m n okay so this is your graph check it out the maximum digit is 15 okay so you can draw 15 up to here and 15 up to here this is for the x axis and this is a y axis okay after that you have to plot all these points on the graph okay mention their coordinates also okay and after that join that points when you will join the points you can see that there is a straight line so you can write at the last yes they lie on a straight line all right so similarly you have to solve the d part okay points are given to you w x y z plot on the graph x axis y axis uh, make the numbering okay check it out the maximum digit after that again there is a straight line so you can write at the last yes they lie on a straight line all right second question is draw a graph of the function y is equal to 5x by taking x is equal to 0 2 3 5 so this is a equation given to you <clears throat> okay this is a equation y is equal to 5x now they after that they have given that you have to find out the value of the coordinates by <clears throat> putting the value of x as 0 2 3 5 So let's suppose if x is equal to zero, then y will be five into zero. That is zero. So what will be the two points? Zero comma zero. <clears throat> when x is zero, y is zero. Next is when we'll put x is equal to two. So it will be five multiplied two. That is ten. So that is next coordinate is two comma ten. Two is x and y is ten. Next is three. X is equal to three. So y value will be five three is a fifteen. Okay, again x value will is five, so y value will be five into five, that is twenty five. So these four are the coordinates. Now you have to plot these coordinates on the bar graph. Okay, on the graph. So this is your x axis. This is your y axis. Maximum digit is twenty five. So you can write the number up to twenty five here also, or here also, or here up to ten. Because the maximum digit of the x-axis is ten, okay, and the maximum digit for the y-axis is no. For the x-axis, it is five. So you can take up to five, six, seven, or ten. I have taken up to ten. Okay. Now you have to locate this point. A is zero comma zero. Zero comma zero means this is zero comma zero. Okay. Zero for x-axis, zero for y-axis. So this is your A point. Next is your two comma ten. Two is here. Ten is here. Next is three. C is three comma fifteen. Three is here. Fifteen is here. Next is D. Five comma twenty five. Five is here. Twenty five is here. Okay. After that, you have to join these points. When you will join the points, you can see that there is again a straight line. Okay. And you have to write a line over here. This is the equation. Okay. on the graph on the on the straight line you can write or you can put a arrow or you can write this equation okay this is necessary you have to write this equation also on this line okay and coordinates also you have to mention with the points and then you can say that hence all these points lie on a straight line okay last question is it is given you in the form of table i have told earlier that question can be given to you in the form of points in the form of equation statement or in tabular form okay so they are saying that data on the perimeter of equilateral triangles for different side lengths are given below draw a graph to represent it also predict the perimeter of an equilateral triangle when the side length is 14 units these are the sides of a equilateral triangle and these are the perimeter of an equilateral triangle okay and one more they have given to you they have given when x will be when the side of equilateral triangle will be 14 what will be the perimeter so this is the answer we have taken out that is 42 how sides and perimeters of equilateral triangle is given 
perimeter formula of equilateral triangle is 3 into side if side will be 14 perimeter will be 3 into 14 that is 42 units okay so rest all are given to you only one they have given that you have to find out when the side will be 14 what will be the perimeter so that will be equal to 42 with this formula okay <clears throat> now these are the coordinates given to you okay these are the coordinates 5 comma 15 6 comma 18 7 comma 21 8 comma 24 9 comma 27 14 comma 42 now you have to draw all these points on a graph so maximum digit is 42 so you can take up to 42 as like this okay 2 4 6 8 means by leaving one one digit okay you can you can do like this you can leave three three digits okay but same if you are leaving three digits here then three digits everywhere okay so proper sequence should be there so i have taken up to 24 on the x-axis and on the y-axis up to 46 okay this is the sides of equal triangle this is the perimeter of equal triangle okay the first point is 5 comma 15 so you can write up in this way this is the first point that is 5 comma 15 second is 6 comma 18 then 7 comma 21 okay so you are thinking that where is 5 5 is lie between 4 and 6 when you will draw on a graph okay so there will be proper lines equal lines in between that 4 and 6 okay so you can take a middle line okay by your prediction okay so 5 lie between 4 and 6 similarly 15 lie in between 4 and 16 okay in this way you can choose the points so up to last point is 14 comma 42 in this way you can plot the points and after plot after plotting the points you can join that all the points so there will be a straight line okay in this way you can draw the data on on the uh, proper graph so these are the visual representation of any data that is graph so this was your exercise 17.1 it is quite easy there are some basic terms that is what do you mean by graph different types of graphs that is bar graph histogram and after that pie chart okay just let me open the page okay this we have discussed after that we have discussed what is line graph and linear graph then we have discussed what is cartesian plane all the proper all the important terms you have to learn it then we have started exercise 17.1 okay we have done all the questions you have to draw all the questions on a proper bar graph notebook all right wherever you will face any kind of doubt please call or message me anytime bye bye take care all of you